Welcome back to Move It. How many times have you ordered something online, a couple of items like these, but when they arrive to you, they come in a box this big, and you wonder, who's paying for all of that waste? But there is technology available to solve that problem. This is the Staples Distribution Center in Orlando, Florida. It's one of 35 facilities of its type around the United States that the office product giant uses to process internet sales and orders from businesses. Products from here go to customers throughout Florida, providing next day service from the Panhandle in the north to the Florida Keys in the south. Office supplies can be tricky to warehouse and distribute. The size ranges are huge, from a small pack of paper clips to office furniture. So it's really important that managers know just how big a product is so they know how much space it will take up to store and also how to process it when orders come in. And that's where some cool technology helps. This system is known as a CubaScan. A Utah-based company called Quantronics manufactures it. Whenever a new product arrives for the first time at the facility, this device measures and weighs it. Kyle Berg, an operations supervisor here at Staples, shows us how easy it is to get accurate dimensions using the CubaScan. You'll put your product in the far corner, you'll hit MSR, and this will bring up all your measurements here, and it'll transport them and input them over into the Sunbeam system. And after you confirm your measurements, you're good to go. CubaScan is a big part of this operation. So in all 35 of our fulfillment centers in the United States, we weight, cube, and measure every item that comes within our fulfillment centers. The information gathered with the CubaScan is sent to the warehouse management software, which then determines how much space each item, case, and pallets full of cases will occupy in these storage racks. When it comes time to fill orders, the products are later moved to these picking areas. Again, Staples needs to know how much space to allocate for each product. Too little, and there's not enough stock available for workers to pick orders. Too much space, and workers have to travel farther, walking past half-empty spaces. Those product dimensions are also used to determine how large of a box should be used for each customer's order. Software adds up the space needed for all the items that will go into a box and sends that info to this device, an on-demand packaging system from PackSize Company. It is a system that creates the perfectly sized box for the order. Staples has five of these machines in Orlando, which together build about 10,000 shipping cartons a day. And while they can create just about any size box, Staples has decided that 150 different size configurations are just right for its operations. Prior to installing the system, Staples used only six sizes, so there was a lot of empty air shipping in boxes that were far too big for their contents. Casey McIntyre, an industrial engineer at Staples, shows us just how easy it is to make the right size box on demand. So what it'll do is it'll cut the box to size out of the machine. It'll apply creases and make cuts to uh, allow the flaps to align. So the box is cut in the machine and it comes out in this area. At this point, all the operator needs to do is fold it over and put it into the glue machine. In the glue machine, what's happening is it's grabbing the bottom layer of corrugate, folding it over and applying glue to right here to close off the box. Then we'll grab the label that's for the appropriate box, apply it, and we're ready to start the operation again. Sure. I couldn't help but try it myself, and it yep. was very easy to make the right size box. Fold it over right there, yeah. Right to there. Put it in. in. So I have to put it to the far left so far it hits left. the laser okay. eye. Now you'll grab your label. Grab the label. We will place the, the label end, right, right, no, right here oh, right actually for that end. size. Okay. Well, that is pretty simple. It's done. It's ready sure. to build into a box. Absolutely. Once the boxes are created, they flow to the pickers who place ordered items into them. The cartons next go to an operation where a small amount of protective filler is added if needed, and the cartons are sealed and ready to go to shipping. Staples has saved a lot of money with the combination of good dimensional information and on demand packaging. They've reduced the amount of protective filler material by 60%. The smaller boxes have also saved about 20% of the space on their trucks, which saves fuel and shipping costs. The environment is very important to us at Staples, and we have a corporate-wide initiative, one of which pack size fits very nicely. It's our intention to not only cut corrugate out, but to cut everything that's going in the waste stream from not only our side, but the customer side, and a big part of that is sending less boxes on freight carriers. And how do customers feel now when they receive their orders from Staples? 
They think they are just right. 